Well today I'm going to show everyone how to load film into a 110 camera. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm thinking that a lot of the younger viewers probably have never even seen 110 film. It was Kodak's improvement on their earlier 126 film, which came out in, I think, 1966. Don't hold me to that. Might have been later on, but it was in that time period in the late 60s. This came out in 1972, actually debuted with their line of pocket instamatic, uh, pocket instamatic cameras. Excuse me. Uh, this one is a pocket instamatic 20. I have the complete outfit that has the MagiCube extender, which moves it up about three inches off the top so you don't get as much red eye. Uh, but the range went from the Pocket Instamatic 10 to the 60. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at my hand on the camera right now. I was working on a project with spray paint, so my thumb isn't falling off or anything like that. But it ranged from 10 being their basic inexpensive camera. It ranged for about 15 bucks. This one retailed for 19.99 exactly in 1972, up to the Pocket Instamatic 60, which was very expensive and had a lot of fancy electronic features. Uh, actually, it was a rangefinder camera too. It took very high quality pictures, but. Uh, most people poo-poo this format too, but uh, the Japanese cameras, uh, Pentax, um, Canon, I forget who the other one was, Minolta, made very good 110 cameras that you could get very high resolution pictures with. Uh, the film was also very versatile. Kodak, in the beginning, made the uh, Verichrome pan, just like the uh, 126. It was a black and white. Um, print film. They had, there were more C41 and uh, earlier color print, film, color print films I'd like to mention, but this was also available in Kodak Ektachrome and uh, Kodachrome, so you could do very tiny slides. See, before you advance the film, there are no sprocket holes and the emulsion side faces forward like all films but I would call this roll fresh um, but it's not I found it in the drawer it's an old CBS uh, picture place film if anyone remembers that if you got your pictures developed at CBS but I got a couple examples here wait for it to focus These are just the 110 cameras I could find. I got oodles of these everywhere. This was one of those cheap cameras you used to get like um, discount stores, dollar stores, stuff like that. They're very basic. Sometimes had a plastic lens. This one happens to have the flip flash which I actually have a couple flip flashes. They're just in the box over there. I don't feel like going and getting one. <laughs> I'm lazy. And this was my first camera, which was the Fisher Price 2 eyepiece camera. I don't have batteries in it, but I tested the flash. still works. I'm actually going to use this camera to take pictures just to be nostalgic, but I'll show you how to load them all. This happens to be a slide open type. Give you a shot on the inside. The sprocket winder is down there. Uh, there's a little feeler that comes up and feels where the sprocket is in the picture. And that's what stops the film when you're winding. It'll just advance to the next picture. But it's very simple, especially for a kid. Drop it in. Slide it shut. Take your pictures, wine, wine, wine. I'm going to show you the flip down door type now.
Now, to actually load the film into this camera, you just drop it in, shut your door, and advance until you see a 1 come up in the window, and it'll auto stop too. That's it.